Today, one of my third grade science classes came out and planted tulip bulbs as part of Journey North. It's an organization which tracks migration, and there are schools all over the world that are doing the same science experiment. We're planting the bulbs so we can do an experiment about planting bulbs, and we want to see which one grows faster. Some of you think, like, probably what is a bulb? A bulb is a specialized plant storage structure that contains everything the plant needs to survive winter and grow in the spring. Now these tulips are red emperor tulips. They're like red and yellow and orange, all kind of like a tie-dye mixed together. It's very pretty. And everyone that is participating in the Journey North experiment, they all use red emperor tulips. What we do is we like to give one to each student and then the extras we will plant, you know, in a separate area so that we don't waste them. I think we're gonna get a tulip bulb and um, see how much it weighs like the mass and the circumference. 32 um, grams. Eight grams, We're gonna take the bulb. We're gonna measure in centimeters and we're gonna measure around it. Around the circumference. How many? 13. 13. Yeah, this is in millimeters. Do you remember how we changed it too? Oh yeah. Well, I think the bigger ones are gonna grow um, faster because they could like take in more nutrients because they're bigger, I think, maybe. So you think it kind of looks like a potato? Yeah. Yeah? All right, now use the trowel and tap the dirt down. Do you think yours is going to bloom earlier or later? Later. No. Is, is yours bigger or smaller? Smaller. So you think it's going to bloom later because it's smaller? Yeah. It incorporates a lot of the scientific methods, so I'm hoping that the students learn a lot about not only measurement and, and growth of the tulip bulbs, but how science works. Remember when we talked about the inside? What's on the inside that matters? The roots. Because that's gonna be like. So are the roots on the top part where it's pointy or the bottom? Bottom, because that's where it has more space in. That's yeah. like there's a We have to dig seven inches in deep and then plant the tulips. Some of them dig, but most of them don't do any gardening, so they really enjoy getting um, their hands dirty. <laughs> It's fun because this is like my first time digging and I've never been in anything and so... We explored the inside and the outside of the tulip bulb so they're uh, pretty excited about what it is and what's going to happen to it. All around the world there are schools doing the same thing and we all follow the same directions to see if tulips bloom earlier or later in different areas of the world and you can actually look online and see when they planted and when they bloom. And I will report our planting date, the emerging date, and the blooming date, and we can look and see what's happening around the world and how climate affects growth. My prediction is that what's going to happen is going to go really good and fresh. It's going to become really beautiful.